Someone asked me recently what my favorite memory of Lacey was. And Kelly can testify, it was the day she was born. Literally, most beautiful baby I've ever seen. And as she grew, one of the things that I so admired about her is her incredible fearlessness. I'll never forget, I would, took her to many gymnastics classes, and I looked out there, and all of a sudden, she just did these back handsprings one after another, and I'm like, where did you learn how to do that? She just did it naturally. I would like to thank Sandra for giving me this wonderful man to care for the, my daughter's heart. And I'm so excited, Sean, that I get to say you're my son-in-law, because I've been dying to say that. <laughs> So, I would like to do a toast to Sean and Lacey. You know I can't give marriage advice, <laughs> considering my third was great, so I'm not about to give y'all any love advice. Much love and a happily ever after, because both of you, you deserve it. Close my eyes, I still see it, your hand in mine, I still feel it, I'm holding my breath just to keep it here for a minute longer, spilling over and until we bring out the good in each other, if hard makes a hard together to witness the joining of these two lives today. For them, out of the routine of an ordinary life, <laughs> the extraordinary has happened. They met and discovered that they each had finally found a person that appreciates and embraces all their little quirks and someone that they just couldn't imagine doing life without. For Sean at first, it was when Lacey did a sweet gainer off of the diving board all those years ago. Then again later when he realized that Lacey is always willing to learn and try new things and put up with his sense of humor, his lifestyle, and moreover that she has been to more RC race days than any wife or girlfriend in the history of time. For Lacey, it was all those years ago when Sean pulled up in his black Ram RT truck. Then it was later when he made her feel like she was the first and only priority and eventually that he provided her with an overwhelming sense of security and love that she has never felt before. Hi, Lacey Lee and Locke take you to be my husband, my partner in life, my one true love. I'll cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Hi, Sean Edward Block. Thank you, Lacey Leanne Locke, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Sean, you may kiss your stunning bride. Woo!
those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Chris, one of Sean's closest friends. I've also been told that uh, I'm not allowed to uh, have anything to drink until after my speech. So if I seem like I'm going in a little hurry, it's because I am. Sean and I met about 12 years ago and quickly became best friends. Been in countless days on the lake, rewiring our Jeep, uh, racing anything we could find, and really just making sure that our mutual addiction for all things fast didn't uh, end up killing us. Uh, I can't tell you how many conversations Sean and I have had about talking about how happy he is and how much he truly loves Lacey and Emma. So Sean and Lacey, you've both qualified pole position, so now it's time to run the race together as one. repeat after me to the years that built us to the years that built us to the tears that strengthened us the tears that strengthened us to the laughter that lifted us to the laughter that lifted us and the people that love us and the people that love us may we always remember where we came from may we always remember where we came from and never lose sight of where we're going and never lose sight of where we're going cheers to love laughter and happily ever after cheers to love laughter and happily ever after